Howdy. This is uh, around June 2nd, 2011, and we have our friend here. This is a morel, a black morel, and it's in the Morcella conica complex. Conica because it's got a sharp point here. I'm in a, in a bed of morels that are coming up from a mycelium that we planted. And the mycelium is planted into this gravel, cardboard sawdust, and gypsum bed. And now we've had morels come up for the past month all around this bed. And um, they've been growing for a long time now because we're in the forest, a lot more shade here. Uh, but a legitimate question is, are these indeed the same morels that we planted? And, you know, that's a very good question. And we sought to, to answer that question by taking a culture. And we took a culture of the morels earlier on, a few weeks ago, uh, from the base of the stem. And we grew it out in a petri dish along with the original culture that the mycelium uh, was, uh, came from that made the spawn that we put into this bed in October. And so the culture from the new mushroom with the culture from the mycelium that we put into the bed and they grew together seamlessly. Now this is very important because in the art of mycology, you look at the bottom of the petri dish and there's no uh, barrier of resistance or antagonism or incompatibility. Now, and so this is called same cell fusion. It's the same organism. It came together. Now in contrast, here are, is another morel strain uh, from the laboratory, which was not compatible. And that line of demarcation you see there is a line of inhibition or antagonism. And they're both producing enzymes that are not compatible, so they're fighting each other. So there's an oxidative stress reaction, and that coloration shows definitively that that other strain is not compatible with this one. It's not the same strain. But in contrast, the fact that we have this one growing together seamlessly shows that the two strains are indeed the same, which means this morel came from the spawn that we planted in October. Thank you.